In this brief video, we'll introduce the concept of what linguists refer to as speech sounds. This will be the first in a series of videos on articulatory phonetics. Generally speaking, linguists classify speech sounds into two categories, what we call segments and what we call suprasegmentals. Of course, this leads people to ask what we mean by these two terms. When linguists use the term segments, we're using it to talk about consonants and vowels. So when we say that a word like laugh that has five letters has three segments, we're referring to the two consonants L and F and to the vowel A. Suprasegmentals might seem less intuitive at first, but they're really things that we're familiar with. These are things such as stress and intonation. Think about, for example, the syllable so in the word Minnesota. That's a syllable with stress. If you think about it, you'll notice that it's the most prominent syllable in that word. Now think about how you might use rising pitch in your voice when you're asking a question. That's what we call intonation. We're gonna turn our attention first to the articulatory properties of segments. And when we think of segments, it's useful to remember that we can divide them into two categories or classes. Some of them are called consonants, and these are characterized generally by what we'll see to be a significant constriction in the vocal tract when people make them. And the others are what we're going to classify or are called vowels. And these are different from consonants in that they're characterized more in terms of the location of a narrowing or shaping of the vocal tract when they're produced by speakers. Over the course of the next few videos, then, we're going to learn how to more precisely describe exactly how and where we make the constrictions in the vocal tract that yield consonant sounds. And then we'll learn also how to describe the ways in which we narrow the vocal tract to produce the different vowel sounds, not only in languages that we know, like English, but in languages in general.